Chris. Yeah. What is our first topic? <laughs> that was a solid just maybe, by the way. That was great, well man. <laughs> All right, from Box Office Fan. Sam Raimi has just confirmed the rap uh, that Darkman 4 is in the works at Universal. Darkman had three movies, a TV movie, and a Marvel comic, then was gone. Now they're planning to bring him back again. Is this a great move, or should Darkman stay in the 90s? Have you seen Darkman? I have only seen the very end of Darkman, which oh. is ridiculous. Okay, Darkman <laughs> is goofy fun. Mm -hmm. You know, Raimi uh, directed Frances McDormand, Oscar, one of, one of the goat actresses yeah. of our time, was in that film. Uh, it is a hoot. It's a throwback to a different era. It's kind of an homage to universal monster movies of the, of the 30s and sort of the 40s as well. And Liam Neeson, before Liam Neeson had a particular set of skills, uh, he does a great job playing a disfigured, bandaged, avenging angel, I guess. Awesome. But it, what's so uh, fun about it is it's it's got that gonzo Sam Raimi evil dead. I mean, he'd, he'd, he hadn't made Army of Darkness yet, but he'd made things like the XYZ murders. He'd made Evil Dead. He'd made Evil Dead 2 Dead by Dawn. And he was really in that mode. So it's very much a comic book movie but it yeah. didn't yet come from a comic book until afterwards this comes from our friends at the rap the rap asked Raimi if he's ever thought about a dark man legacy sequel and much to our surprise the answer was yes yes universal is talking about a dark man sequel there's a producer attached Raimi confirmed I haven't heard the story yet or gone into it I've been so busy with this movie but I think it's cool <laughs> Dark Man Lives. Well, you know, I have to tell you, I'll, I'll flex a little bit. So mm -hmm. one of my first jobs in the entertainment industry is I worked at Warner Brothers. And they were scoring Dark Man on the Warner Brothers lot. Mm -hmm. And I had met Sam Raimi through, through one of the people that I worked with. And they used to have a little, like, a snack bar on the Warner lot where you could get, like, ice cream. You would have loved it. <laughs> and uh, uh, you could get Already ice cream. And <laughs> so one day I was, like, getting an ice cream in the afternoon, and Sam Raimi was there and he was just and he's like hey you're your lisa's friend and i said yeah he goes you know we're scoring dark man here and i got to go to the scoring stage where they were recording music and i met danny elfman oh my gosh so that was that was pretty fun oh. i'm uh, i'm a huge fan y of dark man you know what i'm i'm starting to think john may have trolled us with this topic because when i came in i was like i haven't seen dark man none of them i asked chris have you seen the dark man no jonathan you have to have seen dark no man. but i am nope familiar with sam raimi yeah well but you know what the thing is i mean i think dark man in in the early 90s was was very much a cult it was one of those things that was always on hbo and people would rent it and i think that it was very part of a very specific era mm -hmm. i think if you watch it now it's a little maybe it's a little goofy for our post mcu world <laughs> but but that's what makes it charming yeah I you know think we could use more goofy i'm fine with that and i love sam Raimi choices right i'm not a big horror fan as we all well know but i love his work because it has that camp element to it because there is a little bit of a wink and a nod to the audience of you know you're getting into shenanigans with us you know things are just going to be weird and wild and this movie is full of shenanigans mm -hmm. and and look some of the special effects don't really hold up in this day and age because this was sort of the a pre there's some early CG, but pre-CG stuff. And it's not a big budget movie, but it, it goes a long way toward explaining why Sam Raimi became a fan favorite, not just mm -hmm. from the Evil Dead movies. And it, it's interesting because it was a precursor. Um, I went to work for the makeup effects company that worked on Darkman, and then they did the Evil Ash stuff in Army of Darkness. Mm -hmm. So it was sort of a precursor to what Sam Raimi did with Army of Darkness. So Because cool. both of those movies, if you want a goofy time at the – at the yeah. picture shows, watch Dark Man and Army of Darkness as a double oh, feature Army of is so good. for a double shot of Sam Raimi wackiness. I gotta, I gotta ask you a question, Rob. What's with the? I don't know if this is gonna spoil stuff, but why, why is his face wrapped? Did he get burnt or something? Come on, dude. Really? Come on. It's, it's I'm, I'm not gonna tell you. Oh. I'm not gonna. You know how John is about spoilers. I, I don't know. care. This movie came out in 1990. <laughs> I refuse to. I refuse to be. You know what? I spoil enough on this show. I was going to say, I have a spoiler adjacent question. <laughs> well, because if we want to skip those and want to get right into four when it comes out. And um, by the way, this thing is going to look incredible if they do another Dark Man, like with the effects we have now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's going to look tons better. But 
Well, you know, I think you, you I think you should delve into the original, mm-hmm. you know, and and see what joy it might have for you. You're selfish, Rob. Well, okay, we you're selfish with your knowledge. If you go on IMDb, that Dark Man is played by other people down the line with other things. Do you think that is something that is a positive for this being a franchise with so many actors who don't want to sign up for like a six picture Marvel deal of getting to play a hero or anti hero and then getting to bounce if they want to? I, no, I think it, I think this this is a role that somebody would sign up for three movies. Okay, cool. You know, I think absolutely. I mean, look, and this was this was also before Liam Neeson was Liam Neeson. Yeah. You know, and and, and people remembered him from like he was in Excalibur for a little bit of a of, of a scene. But um, this, I thought this was one of the first times where I I recognized Liam Neeson and said that guy's, I like that guy. He's cool. He's going places. He's going places. Although now I'm getting echoes of just take the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Chris. Mm-hmm. Oh, the question is for you guys, though, right? We got to ask the chat here. Well, oh, you, you mean I was I was going to ask you one oh. last thing. Oh, Are you going to now go rent maybe this weekend? Are you going to rent Dark Man? <laughs> maybe. Don't maybe. come on, be honest, Chris. I mean, Logan, I bet loves this movie. He probably should. He probably yeah. loves this. I'm going to go home, and he's going to be like, "You haven't seen this movie," which is a big running topic at our home when I come home, and he's like, "How have we been married, and you don't know?" Any of these movies that I love. Don't know. Don't yeah. know. Well, what about you guys? Have you seen Dark Man? Do you want to see Dark Man? Are you Sam Raimi fans? Jump down in the comments and tell us what you think. We want to take a minute and thank the sponsors of this video, Liquid IV. Now, listen, just one stick of Liquid IV added to 16 ounces of water will hydrate you faster and more efficiently than just water alone. It contains five essential vitamins like B3, B5, B6, B12, and of course, vitamin C with three times the electrolytes as traditional sports drinks. And what makes Liquid IV so effective is the science of cellular transport technology or CTT. You see, it's designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into your bloodstream faster and more efficiently. You know, Ann and I get up pretty early in the morning to go to the gym because we can't go to the gym at any other time during the day. And for the last couple of weeks, I have been drinking one full glass of water with liquid IV. And all I can tell you is you can feel the difference during the workout. So go and grab liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code Campia at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code Campia, that's C-A-M-P-E-A, at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today when you go to liquidiv.com. And remember, use the promo code at checkout, Campia.